All right, this is my uh, Keelan VB carburetor that came off of my 83 Honda Ascot, and I'm going to do a review on uh, disassembly and probably reassembly as well. Uh, I'd like to thank Alder Marsh, who um, has a video on the same carburetor system, but it's for the CB. 900 F so thanks a lot to him and uh, so I'm gonna break it down show it to you uh, because there were no videos at all whenever I was doing this so uh, for me to see my bike so uh, the first thing I would do on this is go around crack every single screw that you plan on opening up also follow your shop manual order uh, after that uh, the reason I say that is because I had some real issues, especially with this uh, screw right there. I actually had to use a heat gun and uh, these vice grips, so I w went to the store and bought these. Uh, these are a great little tool uh, to get that spot undone if you can't crack it. Um, but I would say at a minimum, you know, you're going to need a couple good screwdrivers. I've got uh, this Klein. Uh, 10 and 1, 12 and 1 pair of needle nose, and a pick for getting under things gently. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, I've got all these finger loose, and uh, so we're just going to go through it real quick. Uh, I would probably start by, you know, taking out your drain screw here, which I'm not going to do, but uh, I would start there, and then, uh, you know, move on to the float bowl here. And like I said, these are all finger loose for me because I've already done this, and it's all cleaned out. Um, I also use CLR. I did all of this by hand. It was pretty nasty, and uh, you know I'll uh, I'll show pictures. Uh, I'll put pictures up whenever uh, I go to edit this. But uh, so you just take your float ball off you get the boot right there on your accelerator pump just be gentle try not to force it and there we go all right there's your float ball off uh, and then let's take these uh, floats off here uh, there's a little pin get your little pick tool and just pop that through and uh, pull it out. There we go. Go. Normally you'd uh, have a gasket right in here, and I just use that pick and uh, a Scotch Brite to clean it up. This is the gasket right here, and then there's another O-ring right there. Uh, this tiny little guy. So uh, let's take off the float and get the needle out of there, and the needle just hangs there like that. Uh, let's take that off. Okay. And uh, so let's take out the jets. Whoop. I just woke up, so give me a break. Just be gentle on the jets there. Uh, you don't want to scratch it because they are brass and easy to uh, scratch up. And, uh, you know, don't force anything. This one, you just got to wait for it to give you a little wobble. go and she's out I am not gonna take out my pilot screw uh, I'm not replacing it and uh, so we're gonna move on to let's move on to the accelerator pump all right so you want to uh, keep everything organized as you can uh, slide this off it helps if you twist it a little bit your little boot All right, 
and like I said, these are all finger tight for me. I've already done this. You just want to watch when you open this. Keep your thumb over the top of the chamber there, the cover, and because uh, there is a spring inside. You don't want it to go flying across the room, especially if you're working out here like I am. Uh, keep all your screws in the same area so you know what goes with what. Okay, and there we go. All right. So let's get the pump out. Let's push lightly. And there she goes. So you got your cap, you got your pump, you got your spring, you got your screws, and you got your boot. And you got your bowl, your float, your needle seat, your jets, and your little float pin. Alright, let's go over to the air cutoff valve and the reason I said to crack all of these screws is because when you're coming through uh, you know you won't have any open areas where if you need to get some more leverage and you don't have a vice like me you're doing all of this basically with what you've got then uh, you know, you can get a little bit more leverage and you don't have to worry about messing something up or breaking something. Or, you know, you just got to watch the springs on the uh, you know, throttle assembly. There's a spring there. And uh, I believe those are the right screws. Um, so, and there's also a little air ring right there. And you've got your diaphragm. This was pretty nasty when I did mine. Uh, but I was able to clean it up, and I think I'm going to still use the same one. Uh, but you want to check this for sure. And uh, so there you go. You've got your diaphragm, your cover, your spring, and the O-ring. Good enough. All right. And here you have a spring too, but it's not too much pressure. Uh, these screws are really bad. I am going to uh, swap all these out with Allen head uh, screws that I've ordered, so I'm not really concerned about you know where I put the screws or whatever. But uh, if you're going to reuse yours, which I don't recommend unless they're in good shape, uh, you know, keep it all in order. So, and you just want to. Gently, there you go, and spring, and you've got your needle piston here, and your needle, uh, all right, and you've got a little O-ring, little O-ring right here. Just take note that uh, you know the the higher lip is on the inside. take that out and I am not replacing my needle but if you were there's a little needle stopper here and then inside of there there's a screw and that tightens down this needle but you don't want it super tight you don't want it stiff you want it to be able to find its way back into the center and uh, thanks for that tip so we'll throw that there and under here you have uh, you need to take this out and uh, clean it, which I'm not actually going to do just to save time. But you want to take this out, and then when you put it back in, just make sure you don't crank down on it. It covers up the uh, jets. It's, I think it's an air jet cover. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. And, uh, you know, unless you're doing all this, I didn't have an ultrasonic cleaner. I did everything by hand, it was real crusty. And, uh, you know, I'll show you some pictures. But again, thanks to Alder Marsh and uh, Bob's your uncle.